Welcome to the Plant-Based Podcast. Did you know that plants are truly amazing? Not only can you grow them and eat them, you can also wear them, drink them, nourish your skin with them, and so much more. Let Ellen and Michael inspire you to love plants as much as they do, as they chat with the movers and shakers in this wonderful plant-based world. So, let's dig in. Brought to you with Lava Light. Whether you're a novice gardener, specialist grower, or houseplant enthusiast, Lava Light can help you to nourish and protect your plants all year round. The collection comprises of eight different horticultural growing media and pest control products, with each continually offering the same natural benefits from thermal protection and moisture retention to soil conditioning and continued nutrient boosts. Derived from volcanic deposits, Lava Light is completely natural and sustainable. Look out for it online and in your local gardening stores. Welcome to the Plant-Based Podcast News. Your horticultural roundup for the week. There's a current trend in naming plants after the king and the coronation. There are new roses from Harkness, David Austin has a Prince Charles rose, and Queen Camilla is said to like hollyhocks. We can also expect a lot of royal-themed show gardens, such as Gardener's World Live's Garden Fit for a King by Paul Stone, which is influenced by Highgrove with wildflowers, magnolia, beech, aces and cherries. Councils will also be planting up red, white and blue flower displays in municipal areas. New research has been released by the Mental Health Foundation, highlighting the opportunities that London's nature and green spaces could offer to improve the mental health of all those living in the capital. With support from the Mayor of London's office, the research explains how community gardening, walking and social groups can help with Londoners' mental health while reducing the strain on overstretched NHS services. Based on four months of research and engagement with a wide range of Londoners, the report suggests ways to expand green social prescribing in London and identifies why some are missing out on what's available. You can find out more about the research at mentalhealth.org.uk. Jekka's Herb Fest is returning. The three-day event runs from 30th of June to the 2nd of July and is hosted just north of Bristol. Talks, workshops and demos will come from Jekka McVicker and her team, plus chef Nathan Outlaw, no-dig author Charles Dowding and garden designer and television presenter Ara Anderson, plus many more. There's been a recent warning for all gardeners that if you allow banned varieties of plants to grow in your garden, you could have a huge big fine of up to £34,000. So everyone who has a garden is being urged to watch out for invasive and illegal plants that could land you with the big fine, especially with the weather getting warmer and the days getting longer. Experts say it's important to watch out for plants that are outlawed by government legislation. Some of these include Japanese knotweed, spear thistle, common ragwort, broadleaf dock, Curl Dock, Rhododendron Ponticum, Himalayan Balsam, Giant Hogweed, New Zealand Pygmy Weed, and if you find any invasive species, you should take action straight away. Urgent Commons questions on UK food shortages have been tackled by DEFRA ministers. They say the UK has a highly resilient food chain, as demonstrated throughout COVID-19. It's well equipped to deal with situations that can cause disruption. Lord Benyon told politicians that as fresh veg shortages hit the UK supermarkets, they should look at apples next, as this could be identified as the next potential crisis. 
Scarborough locals have been left shocked as they noticed a rather rude-looking bush featuring a small conifer in the middle with two round shrubs <laughs> planted right by it. Passers-by have been left in fits of giggles after spotting a ginormous phallus-shaped tree and shrub display <laughs> that can only be described as a major gardening mishap. The unmissable display, located in Scarborough, North Yorkshire, features a small conifer with two smaller shrubs either side, resembling the male private area. <laughs> so be careful how you plant your topiary. It's me, Ellen Mary. I'm here to tell you all about people, plants, well-being, where you can find your magic through the power of plants and nature. We have a well-being retreat coming up on the 21st to the 23rd of April. It's in Norfolk in the UK, and it's all about reconnecting, resetting, and rejuvenating yourself through immersive nature experiences. There's going to be guided walks. There's going to be foraging talks and walks, bathing under the stars, evening time walks, mindful gardening sessions, plants and crafts, plant-based foods. Everyone's going to feed off the amazing group energy and it's all set in private woodland. It is going to be epic. You can even get a massage, you can opt in for a Reiki session or hypnotherapy as well. So check it out, peopleplantswellbeing.com, click on wellbeing retreats and you'll find all the information you need to join us on the wild wellbeing retreat. Hey, Ellen. You have a hot flash. I, I feel like it, honestly. I think they're I just, all the trend. <laughs> I know menopause is a big thing at the moment, right? I actually, <laughs> I actually just been rushing around and um, it's really hot here today, so it's in late 70s, I think. It's, it's the moment. opposite here. It's is really it? cold. There's a real <laughs> nasty chill in the air. It's like is really there? the sort where you just don't even want to go outside. <laughs> oh, boo. Well, yeah. I mean, it's been on and off here, so one day cold and rainy, the next day hot. Mm. But you know when you've had quite a few cool days and then yeah. there's one like hot day in between, it's like you're not ready. It's like you crave it and you want <laughs> it. And then when you've got it, it's like, oh, my body's literally not ready for this heat. So I'm rushing around and not quite used to it. So I'm red-faced and like waving air on my face. <laughs> But humidity as well or not? Are we worried about here? No, no. No humidity. Ah, not, okay. un not until the summer, so I'm, I, I can survive that. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> well, I'm wearing a neck, what do you call it, a neck warmer, which is quite unlike me, but, you know. Because it's that cold? Uh, I don't know. I just got, I finally, like, my partner's always got paranoia about getting colds and getting sore throats, and I think I finally got that paranoia as I recover <laughs> from my laryngitis. So I'm kind of now... I'm now this guy that always wears a neck warmer. <laughs> oh, but you know what? You're looking oh, after your voice. You're looking after your oh, voice. So that's you. not a bad thing, is it? And I yeah. seem to have stumbled into a new hairstyle. Let me tell you how I do it, Ellen. Yeah. I uh, I finished in the shower and I kind of run my hand through it. And yeah. then I get out and I towel myself down apart from the hair. And yeah. then I just put a hairspray on and that's it. It's really cool. Oh, really easy. Well, what did you what did you used to do? Isn't that what all guys do? <laughs> a lot more fussed, to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks very nice anyway. Uh, that's cool. How's it going? Uh, it's fine. I've actually this morning been to a really gorgeous garden, which I know I've mentioned before, called Maple Walk. But um, yeah. this is the time of year where all the camellias are out. So there's literally thousands okay. of camellia blooms yeah. and it looks really, really, really lovely. I think mm -hmm. camellias are massively underrated. Yeah, I think so. I guess they're so fleeting. Yeah. In a way, I guess they then get taken over by magnolias. Yeah, magnolias sure. But at this time kind of year, you know, showing this, off. It, yeah, I mean, magnolias are magnificent, right? But at this time yeah, of year... True. When you're looking for the colour, you know, after winter, camellias really do come into their own. And if you have a few of them, you know, mm. it's a real nice, like, pizzazz of colouring. Um, this garden has, like, literally tons and tons of them. Just, and it looks mm -hmm. really very beautiful. So mm -hmm. I think, like, to fill in that spot, pre the magnolias, like, coming out, perhaps, 
and yeah. lots of them. It's lovely at this time of year. But there you go. Oh, anyway, that's lovely. where I was rushing back from. Uh-huh. <laughs> I feel really, um, it's so, uh, I don't know. I feel like, um, I don't know. You probably get this, Ellen, because you're the same age as me, but I try Jewish. to find a really kind of quiet corner to do the phone call because, you know, I don't want to disturb anyone. But isn't it funny? Like, I think younger people don't think like that. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Like, more and more, aren't people just like randomly having calls everywhere and kind of using, um, what do you call it? Using like speakerphone as well, just like randomly in places where you don't need to. Oh, what do you think of that, Ellen? That's actually a nice little discussion point. Well, well <laughs> oh my gosh. What do I, I think I, I think I have noticed that. Yeah, I'm more aware yeah. of not wanting to disturb someone else if I'm doing yeah. a call. Also your own privacy yeah. as well, in a way, isn't it? Some of the things these people talk about in the wild are just like, what the hell? I think maybe because there's social media and everyone kind of puts everything out there um, mm. perhaps with the younger generation I don't even really know um, they're more outspoken like they're more okay about talking yeah. about things in front of people I don't really know I haven't given it that much thought you just sprung that I question on me. Uh, yeah it's a little sure. more traditional than that to be honest <laughs> But I wouldn't like you to put it down to my age. You can take that back. <laughs> oh, you! I've clearly got to be in your bonnet about this at the moment. <laughs> it's my birthday. Like next, is it next week? Next week or the week after? I can't remember. Is this you testing me? <laughs> very soon. It's it's yeah. it's just over a week away, and I'm going to mm-hmm. be 45 years old. And uh-huh. I'm having and like that's it, nice. It it's like um, <laughs> it's I nice, had an issue. I had an issue when I was 40 and I don't have any issues with being mm. 45 at all. But mm-hmm. it's like my next big birthday is going to be 50 and that is shocking yeah. to me. It's shocking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just, just an shocking. opportunity to keep um, uh, uh, getting the most out of life, you know? I think when you get yeah. to a certain point, that's exactly how you think of things. Yeah, like I, d- I don't want to, I don't want to waste a day. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm. I am not wasting one single day of my life. Like, I mm. want to do things, see things, you know, enjoy things all of the time. So there's definitely that that comes with it. It's just like that <laughs> num- the number sh- is shocking me right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. What are you like? <laughs> anyway, what have you been up to then? Tell me about what's going on. Uh, well, I've recovered from my terrible laryngitis, so... <laughs> yeah, your voice sounds much better. Yeah, oh, thank you. Uh, last night I spoke to you, I was about to do the midnight shift. I'm about to do midnight shift tonight as well, actually. But oh. it's really exciting with the Busy Lizzy Glimmer, which is a double flowered one. What, what was I doing the other day? I don't remember, actually. Oh, I think it was fertilizer, actually, the other day. Oh, you with were in the super, cool super moment, Yeah, that was it. Um, so that'll be cool but then I'm off to Holland for a few days this week yeah. but I really because I'm looking at my diary in March is so rammed and I've just felt these last couple of days that I wanted to get everything outstanding kind of out of the way it felt like um, you know like in the summer when you're about to go on holiday <laughs> so I was really kind of like uh, what do you call it overturning every stone no oh I don't know dotting every T and crossing every I that will know, be. something like that yeah yeah and um, oh, I've got a cut on my leg. How awful! You don't yeah, leave so any stone that. unturned. That's what you mean. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> and just really kind of getting over ahead of myself, which is really cool because I kind of needed to do that for a while. So yeah, but I think um, I love it at that point because a lot of people then get emails they don't expect to. So like I'll follow up on stuff from like months and months ago because it's just like I run my inbox like a to do list. So it's kind <laughs> yeah. of. I've always then surprised people with A, how I remember stuff, but B, how I then follow up. But I think if you run your inbox in that kind of way, it's kind of easy. I don't know, really. Hey, Ellen, you need to send me an email. Have you seen my auto reply? Yes, I got it today when I sent you the (laughs) Zoom link. (laughs) Is that cool? Do you get it though? Do you get all the references? Yeah, your auto replies are always very witty. But do you get the reference, Ellen? What do you mean the reference? I'm going to have to re-look at it now. You obviously don't. If well, like you're the thing is, this is the thing. You, your auto response is um, always kind of witty, and I expect <laughs> it. So I probably can don't you read really it out because um, um, yeah, some listeners now might know. I'm now opening it up. Okay, here you go. Thank you for your okay. email. 
Thank you for your email. I'm away on business, despite not invent it, inventing post-it notes or ordering the businesswoman's special. I'll reply soon or reach out to Jen at mrplantgeek.com. Her name is Jen. <laughs> Let's see if anyone gets the references. The, the, the references are only in the first part. The second part is obviously just some, you, you know, funny, random crap, <laughs> which I specialize in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, That's there cool. you go. <laughs> That's it. Very um, good. Yeah, it's going to be so exciting the next few weeks. We're doing a recording for Glee with Trends. We're doing yeah. a nice kind of YouTube video, with like a panel discussion. You know you're a grown-up when you're doing a panel discussion. You know you're a double <laughs> yeah. grown-up when you're running the panel discussion. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you have got to behave yourself and keep oh, no. in order. <laughs> and we're also doing a concept store kind of workshop as well. Uh, where's it going to be? Somewhere in Gravesend. Okay. Uh, where we uh, have people from, uh, not necessarily students, but people nominated from garden centers to come and mock up what a store could look like okay, and i have cool. to present lots of different ideas etc and okay. i had a really cool time brainstorming that and putting that together today but it's it's a funny balance if you want to peak the ideas but you don't want to give give them in full because i'm liable just to give people the ideas on a plate and you kind of have to sort of balance that a little bit so oh did i tell you the cool news tell me you know, um, I'm sure I told you on Friday, or maybe I told you on off recording. I can't remember. But uh, Horticulture Week, they asked me to do like a new plants column. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. That is I told you already or not. No, that's new. That's <laughs> okay, cool. news to me. That's really, really cool. Yeah. And because a lot of what you do is like discovering like the new plants, you know, that are yeah, coming Yeah, yeah. So that's really nice. So it's going to be cool, almost like a bit of a gossip column, which should be fine. Sorry, yeah. I thought it was quiet in here, but now there's there's a hoover for some reason. I can't I'm hear still. it. I can't I hear can it at not. all. No, not at all, I it's promise. And in the, the back, vacuum. <laughs> here, in the background, all I can hear is like leaf blowers. Yeah. And I don't, you I really, probably can't so hear that. It. Yeah. <laughs> to give you a view of uh, QVC, from where I'm sitting right now, I can see Christmas trees fully decked out. <laughs> Oh I don't my know. Gosh, I can't because handle they obviously that. sell Christmas decorations from July onwards. So maybe this is even the planning at that point. So yeah, honestly, it's really um, they should do proper tours here because it's quite interesting. And you know how it always is with the jobs we do all the time. We don't always see the specialness of them. Yeah, is that is that funny? Yeah. yeah, that's true. It would be amazing to have a behind the scenes kind of look yeah, at QVC. Yeah, really would actually. Yeah, Put that into it's action. funny how you take Go it for on. granted. Tell yeah. the producers, uh, put that into action, tell the producers. Yeah. Well, I've always said to them, I think what would be really cool would be to have like uh, like a reality show, like, uh, sorry, the vacuum's incredibly near me. It's a Henry. Um, <laughs> Is it a Mr. or a Mrs.? Oh, I don't know. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Mr. Oh, that's funny. That knobby bit at the back. Hmm. Um. Just like uh, in the 90s, they had, what was it called? Airport, this reality show about EasyJet. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Showing the good and that. the bad and the ugly. Yeah. And I think that would be great for shopping TV because it's such an unknown world. Yeah, and, it is. And that, that's kind of weird sometimes because so many people know it. But if you don't know it, you really don't know it. And yeah. if you don't buy from it, you really don't buy from it. It's kind of, yeah. it's like a cult almost. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're the leader. Yeah, of a, really you're the leader of a cult, Michael. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? A um, gardening cult. Something I was going to tell there. you about. You'll be at Melbourne soon. I've seen loads of great promo on that. Oh, I'm really excited about that. They've got a new theatre called Bloom and Grow, and yeah. um, I'm hosting it on all days. And we've got guests um, on the Bloom and Grow stage, like Amory Powell from My Real Garden. Mm -hmm. You know the landscape uh, designer and Jonathan Mosley doing uh, floral designs. Uh, oh, we've got cool. Ben from uh, Worcester Terrariums doing terrariums. Oh my god! Things. Really? How oh, cool! Yeah. So I'm really. That's mm -hmm. really cool. And then um, after that, I'm then hosting the new houseplant theatre at BBC Gardens World on all days as well. So. Um, all day, that I will... didn't know BBC Gardens World. I've been there on the weekends. Well, there you go. I don't know if oh. you are. You, I'm not sure what your talks are. I haven't got the schedule. Oh, Ellen, we should definitely all. have lunch. 
<laughs> so, I'm not yeah. in house plants though. So you won't be on my theatre, which is oh no, but I'll be there on site. <laughs> yeah, that will be great. Yeah. So I don't um, know who's talking, but it will be again. You mm-hmm. know, with the terrariums, if you haven't had the chance to see them at Malvern, um, other mm-hmm. house plant experts, and that's yeah. kind of a new uh, area for the show, which is really oh, cool. So I'm happy to be hosting cool. that. But I must yeah. just tell you one awesome work thing that's just very yeah. recently happened. Um, I do quite a lot of work with Rhino Greenhouses and Mm -hmm. they have been given their first trade stand at Chelsea Flower Show, Uh which is super epic. And um, I'm working with them on designing the stand and all the planting, which Uh, is brand new to me, but really, really, really cool. So I mean, you can get me into Chelsea early. (laughs) <laughs> you already can get into Chelsea early. <laughs> uh, all cool. right then. Yeah, <laughs> so that's I will accept. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah. It feels like um, yeah, it feels like the year's really kicked off. It's really nice. Yeah, it is. And do you know what? I actually decided earlier on in the year, I was gonna kind of let it go. As in, I wasn't going to put myself mm-hmm. out there. I wasn't going to send mm. my information all around to go, hey, I'm available. I was just going to see what happened this year. Comes. Yeah, I just take it. It comes when it you're comes. a nice boy, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then it just all slowed in and it was like, this is yeah. really cool, you know? So I'm uh-huh. really happy for this year. Exciting. I heard a really cool piece of gossip earlier, actually. Did you? It better be good now you've said that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, I wonder if anyone else picked up on it. Um, You know, Mike Palmer has made this, uh, he's got his podcast, right? I can't remember what it's yeah. called. Mike, Mike the Gardener, I think, MIC. Yeah, Mike as in and, MIC, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he interviewed the producer of Spun Gold. Okay, um, Spun Gold TV. Yeah. Oh, what did they say? And the producer, you have to listen to it, but the producer basically like threw some shade on the other programmes. You'll have to listen and see if you got it. Anyone else can as well. But they were basically talking about kind of um, some, like, uh, most their show would have, obviously, then experts talking about plants. But then they were like, oh, I can't speak for other shows or something like that. So I was like, oh, this is Oh, my gosh. So that was making my mind boggle. <laughs> yeah, that's quite rare, actually, oh, no, for anyone really is. within the yeah. industry to throw shade on anyone else. Usually people will, oh, no, you know, not interesting say anything bit. or get drawn into anything yeah, yeah. like that. But to actually mention that, that's kind Yeah, that's really rare. Oh, juicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to go um, and listen. In my Week uh, article... I was, uh, we were discussing how it's going to look. And it'll be kind of like a sort of top five, but it'll also be, and Ellen, when, when I was younger, my parents bought the Sun newspaper. Same for you? Yeah, or, yeah well, same for yeah. me. Yeah, totally, Do you remember yeah. the bizarre column? Like the, uh, 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 I think Piers Morgan did it for a while, which was obviously no, like celebrity remember. gossip and stuff. Uh, right. And there was often at the end of it, some cryptic little thing about, oh, Who's been spotted in the toilets of like Mojo restaurant? Oh, yeah. Leggy Blonde. Yeah, yeah. And I want to include in my articles, I want to include the same one, but about a certain plant. Uh-huh. So I'll be like, oh, who's breeding in a well known winter interest shrub? La la la. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? What do you reckon? <laughs> That's a really good fun. <laughs> I love that. Oh, That's dear. really good fun. Oh, I'm looking forward to reading it. When, when will the first piece be available? Uh, in April, actually. Yeah, awesome. and it'll be online as well, so you'll have to yeah. borrow someone else's login, Ellen. Yeah, I know, you have to. Because like, you won't pay for your own. <laughs> I won't pay for my own. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got one more cool thing to tell you about, actually. We're doing more QVC shows this season, and we're actually starting to put them on the QVC Style channel, which could at some point become a dedicated channel. <gasps> Isn't this cool? So they're really increasing the gardening hours. And we actually are making a post about it later on this week. So by the time you hear this, the news will be well out there. But yeah, and what is very exciting is some of those shows will be in the evening at 5 and 6 p.m. And there'll be specially themed shows for shade gardens, edible gardens, this and that. So really a good destination because I've always felt that the the weekend shows are great for the, the usual audience. But there is, you know... A lot of kind of my followers on Instagram or kind of Facebook, and they wouldn't necessarily be around on the weekend. So it's right. really interesting how these are going to go at five and six p.m. 
So and I'm also glad. that it's that a really cool development. That's yeah. really cool. And also my show mm-hmm. just how many more people are interested in gardening and yeah, like definitely shopping. Yeah, really you know. investing in it big time. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool. Oh, yeah, so. gardeners, I love it. I know, and I'm actually getting to curate some of the products in the shows as well, like the actual plants, which yeah. is pretty cool as well. So, yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Sounds like a <laughs> very exciting... Yeah, that's like exclusive news. You heard it here first kind uh, of thing, uh, nice. Uh, it's so funny we have nothing we talk about for weeks and then suddenly we spaff it all out <laughs> <laughs> let it, let it know, all out six weeks of moaning about the weather and then suddenly we have career progression <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, dear. brilliant oh, I, I love it know. that sounds really really exciting I uh, know <laughs> a good year ahead oh so what are you going to do as soon as you hang up the call I need to know I have, uh, t- I'm literally a little, I'm going to go with minor stress here. So I've got a few articles that need doing that's going to take me a good few hours. And, and I'm going to eat um, some hummus. Uh, we're going to eat some hummus, no. <laughs> we are going to Texas on Thursday. Oh, of course. Um, to see my sister. And then on the way mm-hmm. back, we are camping in Florida on the beach. So mm-hmm. on the oh, morning... Yeah. On the morning of my birthday, we'll be yeah. able to open the tent up and we will literally be on the beach. Yeah. But between now and when we leave at like 4am on Thursday morning, I've got so much to do that I am just very slightly... Uh, just could teetering on, I could get stressed. <laughs> could I use AI? <laughs> <laughs> isn't that funny there's so much AI stuff going on out there now isn't there like I see it everywhere um no I wonder if you I could can't. tell the difference it's so interesting isn't it I know or maybe you could get AI to do it and then just correct it that's bound to be quicker <laughs> maybe but sometimes trying to correct stuff takes longer than you just flowing yeah, and typing maybe. you know what I mean it's like copy editing and uh you know checking over other people's work yeah. it takes so much longer than just writing it yourself yeah, true. True, no. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so that's that. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, you can. Uh, I'll be doing my road trip online, obviously, like usual, um, mm-hmm. in my stories and see what we can see along Will the you do way. A vlog? Well, I do a vlog. No, do you know what? I was thinking the other day how I don't really do YouTube or like vlogs. No. I don't know how, do people, like, like, how do people it's, find the time? I just don't it's get a lot it. Of effort. I was Gosh. watching some. Um, YouTubers like eating food around Iceland and it was just kind of like it's every moment and you're really not then spending your own time and but yeah. it's weird someone referred to me the other day as a vlogger and I said really? I said back to them I, I don't think I've ever made a vlog <laughs> it's so no. funny the vision of what people think you do compared to what you do yeah and they're not even my parents do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's so disconnected I don't re- sometimes. I honestly don't really know my I've my never done a knows, vlog in my I life. Mean, no. I mean... No. It's just like... like I've done you're... videos at places, but not... Well, A, not many, and B, not in a vlog style. Hmm. But like a vlog is you literally talking yeah, about what yeah, you're yeah, doing as you're doing it, right? Yeah. I And I've never done that before, mm. but you take videos of, sort of what you're really doing. Boring. I just don't. Yeah. I just like. How are you a immersed in what you're doing? First of all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how can you? But yeah. secondly, I just don't know how you find the time. There's all of the social media channels, and then uh, there's vlogs and reels and TikToks and mm. stories, and like I just like literally don't. It blows my mind. So I can't really. You know, I was thinking the other day where so many people, more people are doing YouTube now. And I'd love to do it, but then I wouldn't love to do it because I can't, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Well, I have to say, um, with my assistant, Jen, who you know very well, we pledged to do more YouTube this year. And we've had various, uh, we've got like one filming day a month where we'll do like a couple of videos. Yeah, nice. And I got, we got the first ones almost ready to put out. So I'm kind of, I am putting a little bit more effort in that area, actually. Yeah. It's like, but, I feel like I want to yeah, put more uh, effort into it. But every time I think about it, I think, I, mm, can't, I can't be bothered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But um, anyway. I was watching a program on Amazon Prime about TikTok, and I'm really like, Ellen, you're, you're good at it. I really, I can't get it. And last night, I, I got into bed, and I like, uh, I was like, oh, I'm really going to look on TikTok. <laughs> but I really got bored after four minutes. What am I doing wrong? But the thing is, it 
it isn't <laughs> about doing anything wrong. It's just about what you like doing. No, I know, you know I know. I mean? like, you might find that you love doing your videos on YouTube and they go really, really oh, well. Right. And you it's don't... Know what I'm missing. Like, yeah. But what, what makes us think that we have to mm. enjoy and do all of them like we don't oh, no, do no, the no. ones yeah, you yeah, enjoy yeah. like I've literally pretty much stopped Twitter you know at all mm. like I might retweet if someone's tagged me in something but I just I, I just can't do yeah, it like yeah. I just don't have the time to do it so oh, I've no, actually the what I'm saying to you is I advocate the opposite to yeah so I'm usually saying to you oh you don't have to do what you feel you have to do and yeah. now I've just realised that you just mirrored that advice back to me. So Yeah, exactly. If you <laughs> don't <laughs> if you don't gel with TikTok, uh, don't do TikTok. Yeah, yeah. But you might gel with YouTube mm. and you certainly mm. do with yeah, um, yeah. Instagram, you know. So just yeah. enjoy the it's ones funny, you do. Yeah. Otherwise it just takes over everything, which is just yeah. not life. Like it's we're talking yeah, yeah, about definitely. living every day, yeah. you know, you get to a certain age, it's like you want to do everything every day and enjoy it. Mm. That does not include for me being on social yeah. media all day. And, and I'm never like, um, I'm never a slave to it at all. And kind of like, someone said to me about a reel the other day, they said, oh, that is criminal that that didn't get more views. And I'm just kind of like, doesn't matter. Because I'm not playing the game to get it. And, no. and I'm also, as long as I've got eyes on it that I want to have on it like quality eyes then that's enough for me it's not really not too bothered about the numbers I just yeah. I just um, picked my ear and sniffed it you saw me do that didn't you Michael that is so beyond sorry. disgusting I I'm don't, so sorry I, I do feel a little bit like I want to vomit <laughs> oh dear oh my god it really smells it? can I just tell uh, you something to take um, away yeah. that thought that, you need to um, wash <laughs> TripAdvisor has a list, um, a list of the top 25 beaches in the world, and Britain's best beach is um, is Galston, where I grew up. Yeah, so really? Britain's best beach is a seaside spot in Norfolk, and <laughs> it's Galston on Sea. And I used to, well, hang out down the beach all the time. I used to run along the beach in the morning with our old dog called yeah. Prince. I spent so much time on Galston Beach, and I always think that it's not given enough credit it's so so beautiful yeah, you know uh, and i was so pleased just to see that you know seaside spot number one in britain gulston you never see gulston anywhere it's been it's in a few films it was in that beatles film um uh, true true you know <laughs> oh i uh, do you know what in that beatles film where yeah. one of them lives is actually where we used to live it was our old house really oh yeah my God. And I was like, no, they've gone up the drive. And that is, so that's where my sister lived. Um, and yeah. I was born there, but we moved out like within a you few had weeks. A driveway. Pardon? You had a driveway. Yeah, I had a little drive. Well, this, think of, of a, think of a coastal town, right? I, um, right. Little winding like roads. Yeah. And we were in a corner and it was like uh, off street parking more than a driveway. And yeah. then a little, a little oh, cottage in the corner. Like a kind of yeah. fisherman's cottage in the corner. So, yeah. Uh -huh. nice. Oh, I'd love to see a photo. It was really cool when I saw it and I messaged it to my sister and I was like, this is the house, right? She was like, yeah, that's oh. so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really cool. Anyway, I don't know. That was a massive tangent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need to go in a minute. I'm so sorry. I need to go Me up too. for a meeting, then rehearsals, and you need yeah. to get in your drama zone <laughs> in my drama zone yeah i need to seriously get my head around doing ah. probably around about two thousand words in Ooh, uh, record record time this afternoon so yeah i've got i'll get my fingers moving <laughs> uh, what have you got right about by the way uh the first one is let me have a little look on my list uh seeds to sow for wildlife and oh, cool. the other one is like a spring gardening oh, tips, cool. different plants. You must learn a lot as you go along, though. That's really cool. I'd like oh. to say yes, I do, but also I, I forget I, it after I've typed yeah, it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm dear. sure I retain some of it, but a lot of it does just go after I've written it. So oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you never know. One day you might invent post notes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> very good very oh, good all right then enjoy the rest of your day lovely thank time. you very much see you soon Ciao, bunker. <laughs> brought to you with lava light 
Derived from volcanic deposits, lava light can help you to nourish and protect your plants all year round. The collection comprises eight different horticultural growing media and pest control products. So why not look out for their colourful packs, either online or in your local gardening store? The music for the Plant Based Podcast is part of the song Grow by Mikey James. And our editor is Gareth Patch of Semi Echo. Semi Echo.